I think the thing that got the theremin off the ground was the fact that he became friends with the new Russian government. Uh, Leon Lev Termin, Leon Theremin, uh, got, he was such a good engineer. He was, a, you know, he was a specialist and scientist, and it was a new government, and they loved the idea that there was a young specialist, and he actually made a musical instrument, and Theremin actually got to meet Lenin and was able to actually teach Lenin how to play a song on the theremin. And if you think about that, it's, it's just like an impossible thing to think about. Here is Lenin, you know? I mean, I, you know, this is all old history, but it's, it's fascinating. And he supported the things that Theremin was doing. And well, Theremin had a very strange life, both politically and every other way, but... Um, with all that, I mean, he was well known and he liked publicity, but there, was, there wasn't enough of an audience no, until the Moog. It was the Moog that really, as you said, it's the time was there, the time was right, and rock and roll was flying, and and the and the Moog just fell in there with, you know, and it, and it was so cool because. Keyboard players loved it because they could finally be on stage, except, you know, because all they had was guitar players being the lead people all the time. And keyboard players said, oh, now I can get in front and play solo things, you know, and here I have my Moog synthesizer. <laughs> Thank you. 